Fushida's pilots have to find a way to deliver their torpedoes to a depth of just under 40 feet to be effective at Pearl Harbor. Critical to their success will be the Nakajima Kate aircraft. It has to perform multiple roles and comprises more than half of the 274 bombers that Japan will deploy from its aircraft carriers. In 1941, this is the most advanced carrier attack bomber in the world. Historian Mike Pavlik has come to the Pacific Aviation Museum in Hawaii to see how this plane would be used in the planned attack. This is amazing. This is one of the last remaining examples of a Nakajima Kate Japanese bomber. This is the backbone of the Japanese attack at Pearl Harbor. Big, huge, thousand horsepower radial engine meant it was relatively fast, faster than most American airplanes, but also had reliability and long range. The wingspan at almost 51 feet meant that it could carry very heavy payloads, but also had great aerodynamics. Down underneath here, I'm hoping to find the shackles. Yep, in here are the mechanisms for where the torpedo was slung or the bombs were hung. It could carry a massive naval artillery shell that was designed as an armor-piercing bomb to pierce through the battleship's decks. Or it could carry an 1,800-pound torpedo and act as a low-level torpedo bomber. Kate bomber pilots continue to train exhaustively in low-level flying. But perfecting these skills alone isn't enough. To deliver a successful attack, they need improvements in the performance of the aerial torpedoes. <laughs> 